and I guess I never really introduce myself to new people. So if you are just hopping onto my channel, um, if this is your first video or maybe you're like watched a couple and you don't know what the heck is going on, um, nice to meet you. I'm Caitlin and I'm seven months pregnant right now. Can't really see when I wear all black. There's definitely a baby bump there. I did not have that before. He is growing and we are moving. Where we currently live is like a luxury style living. They call it like um, apartment complex and it's a pretty good size. We have two bedrooms technically where we could have the baby here, but I woke up one day and I was like, it's not gonna work because our floor plan is very open and the noise just travels so easily and like there's not even a door on our master bedroom because it's like open concept this is probably confusing so i'm just gonna give you a quick tour okay so our house is really messy because we are moving but like that's the front door and we have the kitchen and a living room and a bedroom down there that was gonna be the baby's room but we're gonna move and this is why so you come up the stairs and to our left we have the loft area and then to the right we have the master bedroom area and our bathroom back here so square footage wise it's pretty big it's like 2,000 square feet but you literally can't escape or get away or close the door and when somebody's like downstairs in the living room watching TV, you feel like you're in the same room as them when I'm upstairs in my bed. Like I cannot watch something on this TV while Brian is also watching something down, like literally on that TV right here because we can just hear everything. And so my thought process was if we have a baby, right? We're not sleeping much at night. Everybody knows that. And we are really blessed that we have Brian's mom who lives in town. Um, and I know my mom's gonna come out to visit as well to help in those first few like newborn months. And so if they're like, let me watch him for two hours so you can take a nap. I cannot nap here because imagine me laying in my bed and then imagine they're literally like right down there. Like the TV is on, the baby cries, I can hear everything. So. I just thought our lease is already up. Why don't we just like see what else is available? We live in Las Vegas and surprisingly like renting a house in Las Vegas is literally the same price as getting an apartment. So it doesn't really make sense. Like we liked living here for the amenities. There's like a nice pool and it's like fancy, but we decided we would way rather live in a house with bedrooms, I, I, I really want like a garage. That's the other thing. Where we live now, you take an elevator down to the parking garage and I'm like, imagine I load up the baby in the stroller and go all the way down and put him in the car and then he needs a diaper change or we forgot the binky or something happens when you're, you know, something always happens when you're trying to leave the house with the baby. And then we have to go all the way back up and I can't just like leave him in his car seat real quick while I go grab the binky off the counter because he's gonna be like a few floors below me. That's dangerous. But if I was at my own house with the garage, I can leave him in the car in the garage for like two seconds to run inside the house to get something. So these are, these are the, <laughs> this is the way my brain works where I was like, we have to move. I think it's like the motherly nesting instincts that start kicking in when you're getting closer to having the baby. So I'm due in December and by the time this goes up, it's like base, it's like October. Like, so we we don't have a ton of time, but I think we decided just in time to just move. And so we are packing up and I'm just gonna share with you guys the packing. I feel like watching people pack and get rid of stuff is so satisfying. So that is mostly what this video is gonna be, but I hope you enjoy. I hope you find it satisfying like I do. So I'm thinking today we will start with my bathroom because there are so many beauty products that I don't need. If you didn't know, I'm an esthetician. I work at a medical spa 
and I bring home a lot of random skincare over time. I also, I used to accept beauty collaborations. I haven't really been doing beauty collaborations or like skincare collaborations just because like I feel like I have the best skincare um, at my work so I haven't been like working with other brands that are sold um, like at retailers as much but in the past I did and so I still have a lot of those products and yeah there's like a major clean out that is needed and I'm I'm going back to the simple life I want to be a minimalist which you know is like a hilarious joke if you've watched my other vlogs because I'm actually like a hoarder not literally I should be sensitive to people who actually are hoarders but I do have a hard time getting rid of things and I have way too much stuff so I might do a giveaway of some of the beauty products that have never been used um, if I find some good stuff in there so stay tuned for that towards the end of this video but let's get started all right diving right in this like makeup I don't know makeup or skincare I have a lot of stuff back here I have this bin and more random makeup bags back there I don't even know what's in those and more skincare down there <laughs> to share a life hack with you guys when you have your makeup rolling around in your dirty makeup bag with your dirty beauty blender like how disgusting was this makeup bag everything in it just got super dirty I don't know if you can tell and I know a lot of the time when I try to use a paper towel and soap to get off it just does not clean it so I have found a magic eraser will literally get makeup off of your makeup containers so easily like everything is literally brand new sparkling white again this comb is covered in makeup I mean it's so much better. It does fall apart a little bit sometimes, but I don't mind little pieces of magic eraser over sticky makeup that feels dirty. Seriously, so much cleaner. Like, see how dingy that looks? Whoops. literally brand new try out the sack it is so helpful so what I'm gonna do is since I did find some makeup that wasn't in my everyday makeup bag that I still want to keep, I got rid of a lot of the like old stuff that I never use. Um, but I'm going to put it into a brand new clean bag. And then when I get to the new house, I will organize all my makeup together in something. Um, but I just don't want to be bringing any junky makeup that is like all dirty to the new house. God, my passport from when I was a kid and a picture of my mom she was such a cute little cheerleader guys oh my gosh the gems that you find 
So I'll definitely keep this. Um, a lot of jewelry that's not really in style that I can get rid of. So I actually have this barely used cosmetic travel case and I am coming across a lot of goodies. So this will be in the giveaway at the end. Stay tuned for a travel case full of beauty goodies. We're making progress. trash bag of junky stuff that I didn't need some good things coming along for the giveaway and things I need to pack before I had like two of these bins for overflow makeup and skincare stuff that I wasn't using all the time I am condensing it down to hopefully just one I still have all of this, these drawers, and that. I don't even know what's under here. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. More stuff. Oh my gosh my back hurts <laughs> um made such good progress okay so these three trash bags are just junk i can't believe i had three trash bags full of junk in those cabinets but apparently i did and then um these two boxes are 
the things that I'm keeping. And then I only left out what I'll need for this week. I, it's Monday and we're not moving until Sunday, but I do have to work this week. So I just left out um, my makeup and toiletries, but every cabinet is completely empty and it feels so good. Um, and we take baths like every single day. So I just left out some bath stuff and our shower stuff in there. And that is it. So it should be pretty easy when um, we actually are leaving. Sorry, I got a message. I ordered Uber Eats, so just making sure that they're not too lost. I already talked to her on the phone once because she couldn't find us. But, oh, it's at my door. Yay! Anywho, so we're moving on Sunday, and we did hire movers because I'm not going to carry a, a single thing, and it's just a lot to carry all the heavy furniture and stuff. So the movers are going to come on Sunday, and on Saturday, my dad is going to drive up from L.A., and him and his wife are going to finish packing up our apartment while I have to work which I'm very grateful for. So I just wanted to do like all the areas that I really needed to like sift through all of the junk because it's one of those things that like you have to do yourself. And even though I really don't want to be doing any of this bending and lifting and reaching because it really does hurt my back, um, I just couldn't have to do it. But the rest of the things I'm just gonna leave for them that they can just put into boxes It's already been sorted through. Um, like random stuff around the house, but I did most of the kitchen um, yesterday with Brian's mom. She came over and we packed up almost everything except for just some dishes to use for the week. And then I did the same thing with the bathroom. And then like random cabinets around the house. I think that they could just do. Um, oh, and in my last vlog, if you didn't watch it, Haley helped me with my closet. So... My clothes have been sorted through, and I will put a link to my Poshmark in the description if you want to shop some of the clothes that I'm selling. I donated most of them to Goodwill. I got rid of like literally seven or eight trash bags, um, but there are a few items that I'm selling on Poshmark, so check that out. I got a lot of goodies for the giveaway while I was cleaning out my bathroom. Some really good stuff. I just probably won't use it or like I have duplicates of it. Um, so let me show you. All right, so you will be getting this travel case. Okay, and then inside we have some fun stuff. Body butter, hair serum. This is a compact mirror. Some cute claw clips. Um, this is a gua sha. All of this stuff is brand new, never been used, you guys. Gua sha from and now, really pretty. Okay, continuing, there is also like some body lotion, beauty blender, eyeliner, eyelashes. We have eyelash glue, um, some blush from It Cosmetics, and another uh, bronzer highlight contour palette. This is a really good brow um, growth serum. Medical grade, I think. It Cosmetics um, body makeup. I'm sorry if this is not your shade. If it's not your shade, you can give it to a friend. There's still a lot of items in this um, giveaway box I think you'll like. And then this is the brush that goes to the body makeup. Um, we already went through that side. Okay, so the other side. This is a cute makeup bag. Or you could also use it like a little clutch. And then this is a gentle retinol. Um, this is for dry skin. It's like a dry skin soap. And then 
my favorite brand, uh, Zio. This is vitamin C, another little contact mirror that has an LED light, some sheet masks, this is a pimple patches, um, a face cloth, and then Rosatrol from Zio. This is great if you have red or sensitized skin. So yeah, that is everything, guys. Um, probably a few hundred dollars worth of stuff. Some of these brands are kind of pricey, but really good quality. So to win this giveaway, this cute little uh, cosmetic travel case filled with goodies, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and then follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will ask for a screenshot of being subscribed when I select the winner. Uh, I really appreciate your guys' support. Hopefully the winner enjoys these little goodies. And so that's it for this week's vlog. Kind of quick, just like a packing vlog. Hopefully it was relaxing for you. Here's your sign to get rid of all of your junk in your bathroom and your closet. Um, when we move into the new house, I will also film a empty house tour and a moving vlog. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. That's all for now. Till next time. Bye.